see only on CBS 13 ballooning backyards encroaching onto public property as some homeowners allegedly add to their lots illegally. A lot to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. The city of Sacramento confirmed some properties in South Natomas have expanded beyond their bounds. It's happening along Enos Parkway between San Juan and West El Camino Avenue. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, getting answers for us on what's being done about this, Tori. Yeah, you guys, this property problem was really brought to our attention by a CBS 13 viewer who rides along this bike path here often. He says he's been noticing it for years. People extending their backyards beyond their property fence lines. His concern, though, are they paying extra property taxes? And is the city even aware that this is happening? We're getting answers. Some South Natomas neighbors doubling the size of their backyards onto city land. I've noticed lately that people are extending their fences to basically give them two backyards. Scott Garrison walks this area with his dog daily, showing me his neighbors upgraded backyards where he says people grow gardens, host parties and even pour concrete behind their wooden fence line. You can see the chain link fence. So they've come out another 50 yards. Encroaching on government property, uh, that's a violation of the penal code. Local real estate attorney Roy Loving saying homeowners could be liable criminally for damaging and trespassing onto the government land. It, it can be a felony. It, it, I think it's normally a misdemeanor. A quick search of Nino's Parkway on the county of Sacramento's website clearly shows the division between the city and private property where the homes are. But it's this overgrown vegetation that is Garrison's greatest concern. If a fire starts in, in, in their extended backyard, wh whose responsibility is that? An email from 2021 obtained by CBS 13 shows a response from former city council member Jeff Harris's office, confirming these extended properties are illegal and the homeowners here do not have permission from the city. He's the one who had the uh, trampoline out here. Fast forward three years to today, the problem still stands. They don't care what they do in their backyards. You know, they don't, they just do whatever. The city of Sacramento saying it's actively working to issue letters to residents that have encroachments here. But the city had no answer for me why these letters weren't issued sooner. I don't think it's fair that they can, you know, make their backyards bigger. I mean, unless they're going to pay for it. Now, the city did not share what type of consequences these people could be facing or how many homes have extended their properties, although I did speak with a neighbor here who allegedly has this extension in his backyard, and he did not want to comment about it with me. Although, of course, we will continue digging into this and getting more answers on this issue. Yeah, what a story. Yeah. Tori, thank you. Remember, Tori is your reporter covering Sacramento County. A viewer, as she said, tipped us off about this story, uh, contacted her. So if you'd like to do the same or have a story idea for her, send it to her, her way. Just email tips at CBS13.com.